Hi. Say hi, guys. Hang in there. Hang in there, guys. <laughs> this is my daughter, Lily. She's four. Say bye, Lily. Bye-bye. <laughs> and I'm wearing a pink tie for her. This is my son. Bob Hutchins! <laughs> That's his favorite name. I don't know what it is. Um, it's just, a real person. It's a real person. <laughs> uh, just hang in. I'm serious. All right, I'm serious. I need to make this video. I only have a few seconds. So for this video, guys, we're going to go over the assignment assignments for the week. Before I even get started, you remember your About Me, a Google Doc. Somebody close my door, please. James, you can use that picture. You can use that sentence from that Google Doc. It's fine. It's yours. You can copy and paste. I try to set up assignments so that they build, right? And the culminating project is the Flipgrid video I'm going to talk about in this uh, screencast. So uh, you go in your modules. Give my computer a chance to load. Oh, the internet's doing a little bit better. You got slides about me project. That's worth 10 points. You're gonna use those slides in the Flipgrid video project. Both of these are due by Friday at midnight. In the last video I talked about, you need to get this done timely. You start losing points the moment it's late from now on. Okay, so if I click on the slides about me, I did this ahead of time so it goes kind of fast for you guys. Let's see if I can show you in the margins. I put some text message or text to give you guys some help and some insight on what I'm looking for. You guys can make this fun. You can make it your own as long as it's school appropriate. So your own backgrounds, all that good stuff. You guys are obviously 21 August 2020. So delete this stuff on the next slide. You're welcome to look at my example in the Flipgrid video. I did a bunch of pictures. What it says in the margins is you can share anything with me, school appropriate, but it also says a limit to four pictures on a slide. I made two and that's fine. I made two slides. Each picture needs a caption. Well, I wanted mine to be clean and I think PowerPoint's presentation should be. And so I put the text in my speaker notes. You guys, this is an English class. When you make a caption, that's one to two sentences per picture. They need to be complete and grammatically accurate or correct. Your syntax needs to be tight. It needs to be right. You can see mine in the Flipgrid video. The next slide, this is funny. Take a personality test. Look in the Flipgrid video to see my results. I even screenshot um, the results right here. If you take this little quiz or survey uh, and you do as fast as possible, it'll take you less than four minutes. I think I got mine done and I was doing it Sunday night as fast as possible in about three and a half minutes. A couple of answers. I do appreciate when you make your answers a different color than the rest of the text. For example, um, I'm having a hard time finding it. I could change my answers to blue, which is what you'll see in the video. So please do that for me. On my life and career goals, again, you'll see notes in the margins, some questions to think about answering, a limit to four pictures. I, in my video, I did two. I, I only did two. I had simple ideas. And my captions, again, captions are required, are actually on the screen this time. So you guys can sort of see the difference. Either way, whatever picture or pictures you put, a limit of four excuse me, a maximum of four pictures. And then your captions need to be either on the slide or in speaker notes. The next slide, your answers, please make them again in a different color. Mine's gonna look a little different. Look for this icon. As long as that's readable, legible, uh, it's a dark color, guys. I'm happy with it. Please don't leave it black. Um, I put some answers in here in my video uh, and I'll talk more about the video and my answers in a second. Um, but answer these. One more slide, a collage of you. If you look in the margins, this is just any pictures you want to throw in that you haven't put in yet. And they do, they do not, they don't need a caption. So this is just pictures. School appropriate, guys. School appropriate. Finally, uh, help me understand how to be a better teacher. I'm on that process or in that process still. And I plan to always be in that uh, mindset, always improving. Um, again, keep your answers in a different color. I think here I'm using like a dark maroon, sort of school color red. And if you skip one or two of these, you'll be fine. As long as you answer the majority of these questions on this slide, 
Uh, if there's one, two, three, four, you answer four out of the six, I'm happy. All right? The next thing to show you, and I'm gonna pause the video to bring up the website fast. Flipgrid is the tool we will use to break the cycle of always doing writing and to uh, uh, create a platform for you guys to share video. Your class codes, right? So your class codes, period two, you are Kraus, as in K-R-A-U-S, and then your numbers are 1928. Period four, again, pause the video, you can rewatch these numbers. Kraus, 6038. It doesn't matter which number you put in, I'm putting in period two's code. And I'm gonna click join with Google. Make sure you select the school Google account and it says I'm successful. Now I'm gonna have a, this is me on Sunday night when um, I was doing my homework <laughs> and uh, you know, things were working. I was planning on seeing you guys today. When I click record a response, it's not gonna work because I'm already doing screen capture and that's okay. I'll post a, a couple of images to give you some steps. In the center of this window when it opens is a big red button. Say hi, introduce yourself, and click pause. To the left of that big red button are some dots. Click on those dots and do screen share. You're gonna share your Google Slides in the video for your Flipgrid assignment. You're hopefully gonna share yourself. Hi, I'm Mr. Krause, student at uh, Downey High School. Then you're also gonna pause the video and then share your screen. And you're on your screen, I should see your Google Slideshow. Your video needs to be a minimum of 60 seconds and a max of 90 seconds. Please be school appropriate in the video as well. I plan on sharing out those videos at a later date. Thank you so much for watching the second of two videos on how to get things accomplished this week. I'll do my best to be on Remind, email, and... Uh, any other platform you can find me on social media too to help you out excuse me if you have any questions good luck guys and uh, this is your work for the week so it's not that bad you can get it done